Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at a 176 scale model kit from Airfix. This is the Bedford QLT and Bedford QLD model truck kit. Now this includes two kits from what it appears. I have not opened this kit yet, but we're going to see here in a second if it actually does from what it appears here on the box. And what it says, they include two kits, or two trucks I should say, in this one kit. Uh, taking a look as always with these Airfix models, a lot of these military models uh, from Tamiya and Italeri alike and some of the other ones. They have really great detail illustrations of the kits, uh, backgrounds usually and everything so it's really realistic to help you paint it and everything. Some information in different languages here about the company and everything. More pictures. And they also include, uh, like most of the Airfix models, they include information about the truck itself as well as some pictures and a paint guide here. They recommend Humbrol paint. However, you should be able to use any other type of paint, acrylic and enamel alike. And uh, on the back here, they also include some information about uh, airfix.com and their club and everything. So there's that. And now what I'll do is I'll open this up and I will show you guys more details on all the parts and then I'll let you guys know what I think of the kit. Upon opening up the 176 scale Bedford truck kit from Airfix. You can see here everything's nicely bagged up. And if we remove this stuff here, most of these Airfix kits, they come, everything comes in one bag, which with the way uh, they're molded and everything and they package them, that's not a big deal. Some of the other kits, uh, one bag is not really the best idea, but I've never had a problem with any of these small Airfix kits. So what I'll do with these is I'll open these up and I'll show you guys details on all these parts. And here is your instruction manual. Here's a thing about the club. Uh, let's see what do we got here before we look at that. Here's a paint guide. That's very nice. They include a very detailed paint guide. Which on these military kits, you, you really need something like this because there was uh, many different versions depending on when and where these uh, you know trucks and tanks and everything were being used throughout the world. So. Uh, having some like this really helps and uh, we also have some decals here very very nice decals definitely something that you can expect from Airfix kits very detailed they include uh, just different badges and stars and stuff for the, the two trucks here and then just common type badges at the bottom for what they would normally use depending on where they'd be in what area of the world and then here, last but not least, is your instructions. So they just give you some uh, information about the actual truck, different languages. And uh, I mean, these things are very detailed. And here they just go into how to build the two trucks. And uh, just very detailed overall. I'm not going to waste too much time looking at all this but I mean you can see that for being a uh, such small scale they really put effort into making it look real so there's that now let me open up all these parts here and I'll show you guys just how detailed these Airfix 176 uh, kits are so once you open up the uh, single bag that you have that includes all your parts you get three light gray molded parts trees and as you guys can probably see already there's a lot of parts in here there are 74 pieces in this kit and as you can see here here's all the clear parts for your side windows and your two-piece windshields that they have on these trucks very nice for 176 scale and uh, going through these trees here the detail is just amazing I don't think my camera can even do it justice I mean, it's just so detailed. I mean, they even include all the suspension pieces, all the cab opening doors. Um, and I did review a Bedford MK kit from Airfix at the same scale, and it had a clear cab. I noticed that this actually has a white or a light gray molded cab, which is very nice to see. It makes it a little easier to paint uh, having the separate windshields. But yeah, look at the detail on the suspension and. They even include, um, I don't think they include a whole engine, but they include at least part of the lower part of the engine. 
works. I mean, it looks really realistic, especially if you detail paint it up and everything. But yeah, here's some more parts. Suspension, uh, steering wheels. They even include little, little guns, little weapons in there. Wow, this is just... There's a bicycle. Here's parts of the body, the rear part of the trucks. It's a frame. I mean, the detail is just wow. It's just amazing. So yeah, guys, those are those parts. That's just for 176 scale. That's just incredible detail. You don't see that on a lot of 124th and 125th scale parts. So overall, guys, the molding, uh, the craftsmanship, quality on everything is just amazing for. You know, that's typical what you're going to see on these Airfix models. Very nice. After taking a good look at the 176 scale Airfix Bedford QLT and Bedford QLD model trucks, this is an amazing kit, guys. As you can see, I picked mine up for $8.80, just shy of $9. You can get these uh, roughly 8 to 10 maybe $12 online, depending on where you shop. Uh, it could be a little less, could be a little more. But I definitely recommend checking this out if you guys are into small-scale military or you just want something that might be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, this is just an amazing kit. It can be painted to, to just so realistic. I mean, the detail is just so great for how small of a scale this is. Uh, the decals, the instructions, everything that's included is just top-notch. And I highly recommend this. Five stars, you know, 10 out of 10. Everything is amazing. And I did want to correct myself earlier. I stated that there were uh, 74 parts that is incorrect. There are, and I'll show you guys the box here. There are 74 pieces on the QLT, and then there are 61 pieces on the QLD. So all together, that's, you know, that's a good amount of parts for something that's so small. So this is an amazing kit, guys. I highly recommend that you check it out if you're into small-scale military, or, you know, you just want something that's a little different or something that might, uh, you know, possibly be a, a collector item one day because this is a very nice kit. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a great day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll chat with you all soon.